It's called The Hunter and the Swan, Discuss Their Meeting. It's about a Brooklyn dinner party that sort of goes um, tragically awry and then somebody turns into a swan. There, there's actually a whole sort of series of legends about women who turn into swans, and it depends on the culture. It's like sometimes women who turn into swans, selkies are women who turn into seals, and the way that you get one of them to go home with you is you like sh they they turn into seals and they shed their seal skins when they turn into women, and if you run up and steal one of their animal skins, they can't resume their animal form, so they're stuck in the world as women and they're sort of obliged to marry you. That's sort of how the traditional. Uh, tale goes. So our film sort of resets it to a modern setting um, and it sort of hinges on the moment when the swan woman who has been wooed in this manner asks the hunter who wooed her how he knew which swan robe was hers. Um, and of course we get the sense from the story that he didn't know and that he sort of made a mad dash from the woods and grabbed whichever one of these magic garments he could get his hands on. So he has to negotiate that and it turns awkward. It begins, it begins with this sort of fantasy sequence that we shot in a studio and we wanted it to have this like really sort of mythic um, look. So they're just these, just like very beautiful women and like water and lots of diffusion on the camera. Um, so it's a, it would, you know, it would have that really distinct look from the rest of it, which is um, just shot in my Brooklyn apartment. So it was a lovely, it was an easy three day shoot. Like there were no disasters on set. Everyone had a really good time. So it was, it was, it was unusually smooth as a, as a shooting process. Yeah, no, I am so into it. I'm actually, I grew up in Manhattan and I've just recently moved to Brooklyn. Um, and I feel like I was inspired by Manhattan and I, I made a lot of work that was sort of about Manhattan, but now I'm totally, I am totally in love. I'm just a recent real diehard Brooklyn convert. So I'm my, my feature that I'm writing now has the working title Futuristic Brooklyn um, because it's a, it's a sci-fi that's set in Brooklyn. So I'm really, really into shooting there, like really into the character of the place. It's very inspiring. Yeah, well, it was, um, the cast is great. Like, they're, none of them are people who I had worked with before. We had, um, my producer has a friend, so my producer is Josh Hetzler, who unfortunately can't be here. Um, he had a friend, he has a friend named Kara, who does a lot of sort of, she's an actor, but she's done a lot of, like, performance work. So she knew, she just brought, she kind of acted as the casting director and brought in a lot of really interesting people. Um, yeah, so one of them, Ryan Link, who's one of the male roles, is like this, has this like alternate rock star life. I think he's, I think he's a rock star. And then the other two, the other couple, there's a couple in the film who are a couple in real life, and they're like this mad acting duo. Yeah, they're great, great people. Great, just really interesting, fun to watch people. Um, you know, I think it's about um, relationships, really, and the and the reality of relationships and real relationships set against fantasy relationships and what we take away from that. So I hope I hope that people um, I hope that people feel like the flawed real world relationships that they most likely find themselves in are being honored by this film. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not an advocate of unhealthy relationships or unhappy relationships, but um, definitely it's, you know, it's about, it's about real stuff as opposed to uh, fantasy. Oh, well, the artistic director, um, James Faust, is, I love him. I think he's great. We've sort of um, met at a lot of uh, festivals, so I, that's, how, that's how I knew about the festival. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy to be here. It's the weather's so nice. It's so terrible in New York right now. Um, yeah.